I'm not going to let them, the legendary guitarist said of his bandmates in a new interview with Rolling Stone Mick Mars is fed up. In a new interview with Rolling Stone, the Mutley Crew guitarist and founding member opened up about what he claims is his involuntary exit from the legendary heavy metal last year. When they wanted to get high and fit everything up, I covered for them, Mars said of his former bandmate. Now they're trying to take my legacy away, my part of Mutley Crew, my ownership of the name, the brand. The legendary rocker continued, how can you fire Mr. Heinz Ketchup? He owns it. Frank Sinatra's or Jimi Hendrix's legacy goes on forever, and their hairs continue to profit from it. They're trying to take that away from me. I'm not going to let them. Mars, 72, has been locked in a legal battle with the other crew members, Vince Neil, Nikki Six, and Tommy Lee. Since April, when he filed a lawsuit against the band and their touring companies for trying to remove him from the group, the late guitar player wants to ensure that he continues to maintain a share in Mutley Crew following his decision to stop touring last fall due to a horrifically debilitating health condition, according to documents obtained by People. Mars suffers from ankylosing spondylitis, a spinal disease that has caused him severe pain since his teenage years, he told Rolling Stone. The disease, which he was diagnosed with at 27, rarely goes into your hands or feet, he said. As a result, the crew co-founder said that he could play guitar, and that's what mattered most, but by the time the metal band's summer 2022 tour came around, Mars had a permanent hunch, limited mobility of his head, and was in excruciating, near-constant pain. He completed all 36 shows, but told his bandmates that it was his last go-around, but not that he wanted out of the band altogether. In a statement to the press last October, Neil, Lee, and Six wrote, while change is never easy, we accept Mick's decision to retire from the band due to the challenges with his health. We will carry out Mick's wish and continue to tour the world as planned in 2023. Then, in his court filing, Mars alleged that the band had used his inability to tour as an excuse to oust him after over 40 years in the band he co-founded. Six, 64, got much media attention following Mars' April filing, which also claimed that Six did not play a single note on bass during the entire U.S. tour last summer. The allegation was met with statements from seven crew members who not only pushed back against the claim but also alleged that Mars often forgot or could not perform psalms, according to Rolling Stone. We're sitting there, coming back from retirement, and our guitar player can't remember psalms, bassist Sixth pulled the magazine. We were there watching him physically fall apart, mentally fall apart, his memory fell apart. We really were, with kid gloves always trying to support Mick. We've always stood by his side, but we couldn't let his side of the stage just be a train wreck. Six also told Rolling Stone that he and the other members of Mutley Crew love the F in Guy and that Mars is only saying these things because he's trying to hurt us. The bassist added that Mars, not his estranged bandmates, is destroying his reputation. What's the point? He's destroying his own legacy. When asked what advice Mars would give his younger self as the crew, and the future legacy he is now fighting to protect, was just forming, the guitarist told Rolling Stone, be a little more aggressive. Stay out of neutral. Be a voice for yourself. I don't like conflict, but if I could go back, I'd be more involved. As for his decision to become involved with the band in the first place, Mars said he doesn't regret it. We were different when we came out of the Sunset Strip, he said. The rough spots were rough spots and hard to deal with, but I got to see the world and play with a group that was this successful. So I don't regret anything, besides his least favorite Metley Crew album, Generation Swine.